you're sick, but you're gonna fight so you can be okay. I was on vacation with my husband. I was wearing a bathing suit and I noticed that I could actually see a change, like see a lump and I could feel it. And having a history of cysts that were always benign, I just didn't think that I had to worry too much about it. But this time I really started searching to see what they were looking for. And then I felt this lump. I have a, like an, a very aggressive form of cancer that I, you know, I thought I was completely fine. It was horrifying and shocking that one of my family has breast cancer. I was under the assumption that those are the only people that really have to worry and um, just kind of surreal. found Holly on Facebook and I reached out to her and asked her like what do I do because I didn't have insurance and she said that they were trying to kick off a program where um, they wanted to help women without insurance get mammograms and you know what are they called ultrasounds so she actually helped me get a doctor's note and I was diagnosed October um, 23rd, 2013. And I thought, I'm not going to get, no, we don't get anything. We don't qualify for anything and we have insurance. Um, and so I applied for the wig and I got it. And then I went to um, Classy Ladies Wig Shop and I felt like a, I felt like a princess walking in there and just being able to just choose whatever I wanted without having to feel guilty that here I was spending yet more money that we didn't have on that. By my third chemo, I already was pretty much bald and my husband had to shave my head. So um, that's when I picked up the brochure and I looked at it and I put in my application and I was so excited because right away I got, uh, I heard back from Holly and I got this really sweet message and they gave me a list of places where I could go and I went and got my wig and um, I just remember my daughter saying, oh mommy, it looks like you again. I remember when she first got home and she had a couple, she was really excited and she was like, hey, let me show you. And I'm like, okay. And then she tried them on and I'm like, wow, that's pretty. <laughs> always reach out to somebody and there's always somebody out there that'll help you. You know, it's, it's life or death, basically. For everyone that has donated and been so gracious and generous during, um, to, for people that are in need of wigs, I just want to thank you because um, it's, it was one thing that was easy in this whole ordeal that I've been going through. To Holly, I say thank you for everything. You're a wonderful person with such a kind heart and a true spirit. And I'm so glad that through all of this, I got to meet you. The ease of being able to fill that, that application in a complete fog. Um, and being making it that simple and really having thought it through, having been a survivor herself and understanding what women who have breast cancer need and making it as simple as possible, like wow, what a huge impact she's having on all of us.
el mismo 